Hi friends, Anu here for SD Tech video. Today I'm going to make a video of RAM ICS uh, requested by one of the developer VLAD 87 do RAM ICS is a mix of Galaxy S3, S2 and Galaxy Note. The developer provided the detailed installation guide on XDA. Uh, do a an Android backup then do a factory reset bar data wipe after that run kernel cleaning script by Lipol you can download the kernel cleaning script from XDA then install the ROM wait for reboot once it boot then go to systems notifications and then hide indicator now I have the ROM and kernel cleaning script into my internal SD card these are the two files one is kernel cleaning script and another one is a ROM Now I am going to boot into a recovery. Now I am on recovery. Anyway, I am not going to do an Android backup. I am going to factory reset. Then wipe cache partition. and go to advance and wipe Dalby cache now install from SD card choose from SD card and select kernel cleaning script Now again choose from SD card and select the ROM file. This installation may take time so be patient. Now the installation finished and uh, phone is uh, rebooting. Now the phone is rebooted and from here we can select the language. Currently I don't have any SIM on my phone. And from here we can configure our Wi-Fi. Anyway, I'm not going to configure my Google account. Here you can provide your information, your name. Now go to settings. and system then notification drawer from here you can hide the indicator now we can check the version in about phone it's on android 4.0.4 xs jvt ram ics ux build date is 30th may
now I have my Galaxy S1 and Galaxy S3 the Galaxy S1 is loaded with RAM ICS and S3 with stock ROM both interfaces are looks same and we can check the apps and it's loaded with S voice who is the president of America it's working Yeah, it's showing the result. Now we can see the settings menu. Both are look same. Most of the icons are same like uh, Galaxy S3. RAM ICS is uh, loaded with one application called Midnight Control. With help of Midnight Control, we can toggle night mode uh, that will reduce brightness for a dark environment. And we can adjust the color and se set the CPU limit to 800 MHz and IO scheduler. In options, we can enable BLN control and BLN for missed call service. And an option to set USB fast charging mode. Also, we can adjust vibration intensity and LED timeout. And another useful application is a DSP manager. It's for better sound quality. In DSP manager, there is a different options for headset, speaker and Bluetooth. There is a backup and restore app. With help of uh, this app, you can backup your installed applications and later you can uh, restore it. There is a Voodoo Control app. With help of Voodoo Control app, we can set the volume limit and headphone amplifier level and jack plug in safety. There is an option for bass boost and mono down mix there we can choose different recording presets in settings system settings we can do different things uh, in status bar we can customize the am pm style uh, normal small or none and battery style we can change to icon percentage or hidden and we can change the signal status style and there is option for brightness control so allows uh, adjusting of brightness by sliding across the status and from font size we can change the font size to small normal large or huge and from wallpaper we can change the wallpaper From profile you can customize the existing profiles or even you can add a new profile. And from security we can 
change the lock screen options and in lock screen there is two additional options one is for menu unlock and another one quick unlock and if we enable unknown sources it allow installation of non market apps in lock screen you can customize some uh, lock screen options that is you can enable weather calendar and owner informations you can set the slider shortcuts from here you can set three different uh, shortcuts and once you finish selecting uh, different shortcuts make sure that you have to save Now you can see it's showing the weather and I didn't configure my Google account that's why it's not showing a uh, calendar. Let us see the slider shortcut is working or not. Uh, let me move to camera. Yes it is working. It is coming with uh, two player. One is Apollo and another one is Walkman and there is NS tool for performance optimization Hope you guys enjoy this video then please do rate comment and subscribe. Thank you.